Hi everybody, Paul with PTZ Optics, and in this video we're going to talk about NDI-HX, the brand new high efficiency video streaming over IP standard from NewTek. Let's get into it. What is NDI-HX? Well, first of all, if you don't know what the new tech NDI is, where have you been? Uh, we have some links to the videos below where we can kind of teach you what the new tech NDI is. It's an IP video production protocol for low latency, high quality video transmission over a local area network. This has been integrated into hundreds and hundreds of different pieces of software, including some of your favorites, Wirecast, vMix, Livestream Studio, OBS, XSplit, the TriCasters, and actually many more, including a bunch of new hardware devices just announced with NDI HX. So let's dig into the specs here. Let's answer your questions. So the very first question is, what does an NDI HX stream include? Well, the stream will include audio, video, the ability to do tally, and PTZ control. And that's a really exciting one. Andrew Cross was on our show just last week explaining that NDI and NDI-HX will actually become a way to standardize PTZ controls, whether it be a Panasonic, Sony, or a PTZ Optics protocol. We're, it's gonna help standardize the entire system. And it helps us realize the dream of a single ethernet cable providing power to control the pan tilt zoom of the camera, Pan tilt zoom controls, which includes presets, and there's some free tools that NewTek is announcing, uh, specifically the NDI Video Studio Monitor, which is going to be a really, really fun way to pull up any PTZ Optics camera on your network, grab pan tilt zoom control of it from any computer that is on your local area network with the right NDI tools. And then as that single Ethernet port right here, being able to power, control, and send low latency video and audio, and also uh, pass tally support which are the tally lights that light up and allow you to know exactly which camera is live at any given time so next question how much bandwidth does ndi hx use this is was a very important topic to cover because high efficiency is actually letting us use our onboard h.264 chips which we'll talk about in a moment but essentially we're talking about a 10 megabit stream for roughly 1080p 60 frames per second. So there's always a trade-off with compression. And what New Tech has done has been very exciting. And we're going to talk about how they've done it. But essentially, the New Tech NDI can run with an extremely long group of pictures. And it allows, as Andrew Cross said on our show, it allows him to drop the iframes because he knows exactly when a device is connecting or disconnecting from an NDI stream. So it allows him to increase the um, the quality and reduce the latency and the bandwidth. So imagine on a gigabit switch before NDI HX, you could really only have four, five, maybe six, 100 megabit per second streams on a single gigabit switch because you want to keep some headroom, always keep some headroom on your switch and not overload it or go to the max. So this allows us to do very low 10 megabit per second streams. Next question. So this is a little graph of the bandwidth. You can see it's so much lower, such a lower bandwidth than traditional NDI sources. Is there a trade-off? A little bit of latency, a little bit of quality, but I think you'll find that the quality is so good, it will pass uh, what you'd normally see from an uncompressed HDSDI video uh, signal. So I can't wait for you guys to see how good it really looks. The next question we have is, what is the realistic latency of NDI HX? So the realistic latency of NDI is less than a frame, meaning we're talking about 20, maybe 30 milliseconds. With NDI HX, realistically, as Andrew Cross came on our show and mentioned, Andrew Cross, by the way, is the um, really the architect behind NDI, the network device interface protocol from NewTek. He says roughly about 50 milliseconds. So you got to imagine the amazingness of that. It's less than a frame, depending on how many frames you're sending. So just break this down for a second. If you're doing 30 frames per second, 1080p, that means every two seconds in a minute, you're sending a frame, right? So or in, a, in a full minute, you're saying 30 frames per second. So literally, if we're talking about 50 milliseconds, we're talking about less than a frame. So you gotta break that down. If you're doing 60 frames per second, you're actually sending twice as many frames, so it could be maybe a frame or two. But in general, it's unnoticeable to the human eye, and it works perfectly with syncing audio and video over a live local area network. 
Next question. So the next question is, does NDIHX use H.264? Yes, it does use H.264. Um, Andrew came out and said that they were using the existing chips on the PTZ Optics uh, cameras with H.264 compression, but it's a very high bitrate stream, allowing us to have the maximum amount of quality and um, use the existing onboard chips that are in Panasonic, PTZ Optics, and other devices to allow the current cameras to have just a simple firmware upgrade to enable NDI support. So that's why it's such a big deal. The next question is, how is NDI HX different from an RTSP stream? You know, that was something that's already built into the PTZ Optics cameras. Well, as a lot of you may know, RTSP streaming is somewhat unreliable. It can have um, different variable bit rates and it can have a significant amount of latency. First of all, NDI is automatically discoverable. So whether you're using Wirecast, vMix, XSplit, Livestream Studio, or a TriCaster, you can automatically see all of these devices on your network as switchable sources. Um, so it's very different in that respect. NDI HX and NDI 3.0 has support for multicast. I'm gonna have more information on that in the future. But as we mentioned in our live show last Friday, that allows a single NDI HX or NDI source to be selected by hundreds of different devices on your network without having to increase the bandwidth needed. So there's a lot of things that are baked into NDI HX, which makes it a lot different than RTSP, but the ability to have those long runs of frames and not, not having to need the iframes, and in general, for layman's terms, we are getting higher quality, lower latency than you could ever imagine getting with RTSP, and we're getting that beautiful NDI wrapper, which is gonna make everything seamlessly work throughout your workflow with all the NDI tools and NDI supported software and hardware. Next question. What devices support NDI HX? So PTZ Optics was extremely um, fortunate to be able to be one of the very first partners that NewTek came to to build in NDI HX support via a firmware upgrade. Those firmware upgrades are going to be 50% off in the month of August for available for pre-order, which is only $300, and it will be also be shipping directly built in to our NDI camera models. Panasonic also has announced a similar um, update where they will have firmware updates for their cameras and NDI camera models. NewTek themselves also has an NDI PTZ camera and multiple NDI uh, converter boxes which take either HDMI or HDSDI and convert them into NDI allowing you to have ultra low latency multicast video on your network in a very simple ideal live streaming and video production environment. So those were our um, questions that were mostly answered. I have one more question and um, that is how are you going to use NDI HX or NDI? Have you seen it yet in action? Um, if you'd like to see NDI, um, you can simply set up a vMix to uh, call to another vMix or a Wirecast or an XSplit or an OBS, which is a free software. Or you can, maybe you're a TriCaster user. You've seen it working. NDI HX is going to be exactly the same, except it's going to be a little bit more compressed and a teeny bit more latency, but you shouldn't be able to actually see that because of the amazing advances in high efficiency encoding that new tech is bringing to the table. So hopefully that has answered some of your questions. If you have more questions, please let us know in the links below. This is something that we're very excited about and we wanna make sure we get your questions answered so everyone is clear about how the new tech NDI HX will work on our PTZ Optics cameras and in your video production workflow. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to learn more. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video. And don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.